Okay, you ready, Neff? Aye, aye, Captain. Sometimes I meet you in the hallway, sometimes you come for tea. But when we say goodbye, I wish you stayed here with me. Oh, Beatrice, oh, Beatrice, I know it's been a while. I just thought I should say to you, I like the way you smile. Ah, oh, do you know what? I think that's perfect. Beatrice is going to love my song. What do you reckon? Yeah, yeah! <laughs> what? What? Uh, what? Oh, no! Not again! Oh, I don't know how you can sleep through all of this, Doris. How? Oh, I'm going to have to go up to ground level and check out the din. Oh, stay there, darling. Oh, dear. What can I do? Nev! Nev! Oh, hey! Oh, do you know what? Go for it. Rock! Oi, Nevy! Keep the record down. For Kuali, you swarthy torn, it's the middle of the night! Oh, I'm sorry, kid. Did we wake you up? Yeah. Oh, it's just that we're practising a song for Beatrice. <laughs> I hope she's got strong eardrums. What's going on here? Oh, I'll better go. If Angie Fence finds them living under the floorboards, I'll be Koala catch up. Oh. All right, see ya. Oh, yes. I knew you'd be at the bottom of this bear. <laughs> that... <laughs> Oh, oh, hello, Mr. Barney, sir. Didn't see you there, sir. Sorry to bother you. The other tenants said they could hear a, a slight tapping. Oh, all oh, right. Oh, Nev. Frank, why aren't you hanging up that fluffy bunny wallpaper in my guest room? My darling niece chose it herself, didn't you, Melanie, dear? Uh, actually, Aunt, I've kind of grown out of that bunny, fluffy, wuffy stuff. Yes, dear. So you see, Plank, she'd be inconsolable if those bunnies aren't up on the wall by her beddy bye-bye times, won't you? Won't you? Um, actually, Aunt, I... Oh, I've got a good mind to contact my brother Rupert from Outer Mongolia and get him to suck you, Plank! <laughs> see what you've done, Rupert. What you've hired, a caretaker. Caretaker? Cotton care less taker. Bye, Aunt Barbara. Love you, Barbara. Bye, Miss Ringby Pants. Hey, cheers. Bye, Cos. Love you, smell me. Is that the time already? Bitch, it's going to be here any second. Um, how does the flat look, Bev? Uh, is it okay? Oh. Well, there's no dirty socks. Um, there's no washing up. Uh, there's no jam on the walls. No washing up. Nothing's on fire. Still no washing up. Everything's perfect, uh, except for these bin bags. So I'm going to take them outside, and you don't touch anything. Aye, aye, Captain. D anything. OK. Mm. Never mind. <laughs> that din's worse than a pack of partying platypuses. Crash and Wallop goes by and his plan to sing for Beatrice, Nibby. <laughs> Woken. Oh, dear. Oh, 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 do. Oh. Try the keys one at a time, Nibby. You never know. Some of them might still work. Yeah, yeah. Barney's going to be furious about his cranked out keyboard. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh. What time's like this? My ma used to say, Keithy boy, if only we could right our wrongs and go back in time. Back in time. Mm. Back in time. Back in time. Huh? <gasps> <laughs> <gasps> oh, blimey, me old mucker. You did not give me a fright. Ah! Keith! And who might you be, little fella? I'm confused. <laughs> you must be simple, poor lad. <laughs> it could be useful. Do you need a place to stay? Cos I know the fella what lives in this gaff. Uh, I know, I know. Barney. Barney? That busker? Nah, he don't live here no more. Used to mind. No, no, my governor. He lives here and he owns the old block, don't you know? Uh-oh. Ah, here he comes now. <gasps> uh, 
Another profitable day for Mr. Andrew F. Prank and his travelling circus. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Angry Pants. Crazy Keith, quick, hide! Or found you a little blue bear to uh, <coughs> help you, Mr. Prank, sir. But, but Crazy Keith, Angry Pants, scary. Well, well, well. What have we here, then? Crazy Keith, koala, k k k k k ketchup. A rather unusual hyperactive blue bear, if I'm not very much mistaken. Confused! Ah! 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 Feeling better then, little bear? Oh. So, how are you going to assist me with my travelling circus? Keith here does astounding feats. Watch and learn, little un. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, prepare to witness the most fantastic, phenomenal, flying furball koala! Watch me fly through the apple pie! Oh! oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And now... The world's most tremendous, towering, tyrannical, tall koala! <gasps> As you can see, it's quite a koala-based circus. Ta-da! <laughs> 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 Top tumbler, you know. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Begging your pardon, sir. I just finished scrubbing the floors. I, I didn't see you there. Oh, I think nothing of it, miss. Oh, what an angel. Who are you? Oh, um, the name's Beatrice, sir. Eyes and you made for Mr. Prank. Oh, Beatrice. So, how shall we make money out of you, Blue Bear? Can you juggle, swallow swords, or fight? Yes! Roll up, roll up for three rounds with the incredible Boxing Bear. <laughs> Oops. Yes, perhaps not. Oh. Bernie! Bear, how do you know that good-for-nothing Barney? Best thing old Barbara upstairs ever did was kick him out. Love you, Barney. Me, old Beatrice, old Beatrice, I know it's been a while. I just thought I should say to you, I like the way you smile. Bottom shaking blue bear. At last, a creature with real talent. <gasps> now, my travelling circus will be the biggest show on earth, and I shall be rich. <laughs> oh, please. Shut it and have some gruel, blue bear. Mm. <laughs> Ice cream, please. Ice cream? You do know that freezers haven't been invented yet, don't you, bear? Ice cream costs a fortune. I'm hungry. Still, it might be worth me keeping the bear well fed until he makes me rich. <laughs> Keith, here's a whole shilling. Go and buy the blighter some ice cream. Yes, Mr. Frank. Straight away, Mr. Frank, sir. I will make it gruel flavour. Now, I've got to get ready. <laughs> I'm going to be rich. I'm going to be rich. I found myself a little blue bottom shaky bear and I'm going to be rich. Mr. Just Prank, me. it's me, Miss Melanie. I'm Aunt Barbara's niece, Mr. Prank. Just visiting. She sent me down here to Smell ask me. Ah! Hello, Smellanie. How dare you? I do not smell. I had a bath last winter. Smellanie, it's me. What an extraordinary creature. 
I have to tell Aunt Barbara. Barbara! <laughs> we uh, help! Uh, look at him, the greedy little scoffing all the ice cream. Yum yum! More, please. More? More? You want more? More, please. I think you've had more than enough from me. It's time to shake for me. Can't catch me. Oh, come here, bear. <laughs> so where is this exotic animal little Melanie's been telling me about? Oh, no. Miss Barbara. Exotic animal? I don't want to end up stuffed and stuck up on a wall. <laughs> Madam Barbara, how dare you enter my premises without my permission? Barbara! Oh, my stars! It's the little blue dog of Patagonia! Phew! That's right. Stuff him, not me. Hungry doggy? <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it and go! <laughs> oh. I've travelled the world searching for a blue dog. And here it was in your apartment all the time, Mr. Plank. It's Prank. Andrew F. Prank, Esquire. Fascinating. It would look marvellous. Stuffed and mounted, just like Elgin. Ah! No way, Jose. Ah! You're forgetting one thing. The blue bear, the blue dog, whatever, is mine. <laughs> Finders keepers, Mr. Plank. Oh, and I do love a cheese. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Just <laughs> oh, <laughs> fine. <laughs> no, 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 no. Psst, Nibby, in here. Oh, it's my bed. Out of the way. Out of the way. My little bear. I will get ya. Where have you hidden him? Oh, I'll find him, don't you worry. I'll be back, Mr. Blank, when you least expect it. Uh, when I get my hands on that little blue farmer, I'm gonna... <laughs> Oi, Mr. Frank, sir. Look what I caught. Oh, you're a good <laughs> lad, Keith. <laughs> Help! Come on, bear. Wiggle. <laughs> dance. <laughs> Poor little fella. I feel so bad now. I'm frightened. Frightened? Frightened? I'll give you something to be frightened about. <sighs> the choice is yours. Either dance or get stuffed. <gasps> Home time now, please. Uh, I'm off to the matinee performance of our circus show, and you better be ready to dance by the time I return. Keith! Go and get your wings. And don't be late for curtain up, else it's curtains for you. <laughs> <sighs> curtains for me, indeed. Who does he think he is? Oh, miss you, Bernie. <laughs> oh, poor little blue bear. Don't know who you are or where you come from, but one thing I do know is us little furry creatures have got to stick together. Yeah, yeah. Love you, Keith. I was going to run away and leave you to Mr. Prank. <gasps> no way, Jose. But you know what? I am going to run away and take you with me. Chippadilla! <gasps> Who's that? <gasps> it's me, Miss Melanie Keith. I've come to pinch the little blue one for my aunt. Ah, there he is. But, Miss Melanie, you can't. He'll end up stuffed like Algernon. <laughs> How's <laughs> about helping us escape instead? Melanie, my dear, what are you carrying under that apron? Is it that little blue dog for me? It's a cage, Aunt Barbara, with a bird in it. Fascinating! Let me see this bird. See it? Well, it's asleep and it's shy. Nonsense, I insist! Tweet, tweet. Oh, yes, the common bluebird. Of no interest scientifically. Now, where's that little blue dog? 
Chilly deals, that was close and no mistake. Little blue dog, where are you? Come to your auntie Barbara. Where are you, you little urchin? Why did you miss your curtain call? Keith! There's no point hiding from me. Who's there? Is that you, Keith? Ah! You little rascals can hide in here till nightfall. Much obliged to you, miss. Love you, Smellany. Now, let's get this cage unlocked. Mm. Right, little fella. Let's have a butcher's round here. Aha! Oh. Uh -huh. Well, would you look at that? Why, it's as big as the blooming palladium in here. A koala could make himself very comfortable. Mm. Oh, good day to you, miss. Mm. Ah, the name's Keith. Crazy Keith. Oh, ow. Ouch. Excuse me, miss. Are you all right, little un? Yeah, yeah. Whew. You can see everything what's going on upstairs from down here. <gasps> I'll find that bear if it's the last thing I do. Don't have it. will be the last thing you ever do. Be around here. This father and Mr. Panker having a right ding dong and no mistake. <gasps> oh. Oh, that piano is your home? What are you trying to tell me, my old mucker? Home! Uh, music! Do -do -do, do -do 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 -do. Piano! Plink, plink, plunk, plunk! Blah, 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 blah. Ding dong ding! Ah, you mean playing a certain tune on the piano is what transported you to our world. And if you played it again, it might take you home. Yeah, yeah. Why, that's the craziest thing what I ever did here. Piano, now please. Ah, but we're safe down here. Going back to the piano is too risky. No home time. Ah, what's the point of life if you don't take some chances? Woohoo! Follow me, little fella. I reckon this might be a secret tunnel. Oh, and, uh, lovely to meet you, sweetheart. Wasn't she a picture? Ah, oh, my. I could just see myself sitting down with a darling like her. <gasps> so, whoever wins this match gets the bear. It's a dog! It's a bear. <laughs> that tunnel's gonna come in, Andy. Yeah, yeah. Hey, they look busy. And there's the piano. Run for it, Nevy. I've got an idea. <gasps> there he is. Where? Loser. Bear! <gasps> that blue bear is my passport to fame and fortune. But I won the arm wrestle. But I saw him first. Wait! What? Leave the bear alone. Uh, I mean, leave the bear alone. Uh, it's alive! Bear, play the same notes you played before. Try to get back home. OK, Crazy Keith. Hang on. I thought I recognised that voice. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <sighs> Oops, I might have guessed. Keith, you're in deep trouble. I'm going to send you away. Oh, not the workhouse. Please, Mr Prank, not the workhouse. Oh, no, no, no. Much worse than that. I'm going to send you to Australia. Oh, no, no, not Aust Australia. Hooray! Woohoohoo! I've got family in Australia. See you, Mr. Prank. Cheerio, Blue Bear. I'm off down under, don't you know? <laughs> now, where were we? You were just about to hand over the little blue dog. I was not. The Blue Bear is my ticket to fame and fortune. Why, I'd rather give you this whole house than let you have him. You give up the whole house for the dog? What a deal! We'll take it! We? Who's we? Why, me and my dear brother Rupert, of course. Oh, here. Yeah. What do I care? That blue bear shaking bottle will buy me a whole new street. <laughs> yes! This house shall become the family home. Passed on from generation to generation, Nephew Barney shall move back in. And overseeing it all in pride of place, will be dear brother Rupert, keeping an eye on all the Barneys and Melanies, and who knows, the little blue dogs of the future. <laughs> <laughs>
Whatever. Uh. Time, please. Well, what's going on? Don't leave me bare. Playing a certain tune on the piano is what transported you to our world. And if you play it again, more I take you home. Home time. Bear! Din's worse than a pack of padding platypuses, Niv. <gasps> love you, Crazy Keith. Ah, love you too, Nevy, but mm, a koala needs his zeds. <laughs> Bernie! Love you, Bernie. I love you too, mate. I only took the rubbish out for a couple of minutes, though. You'd have thought we'd been separated for hundreds of years. <laughs> what are you looking at me like that for? Oh, do you know what? Tell me later. That's Beatrice. I'm so glad I practiced the song. Can't sleep. Ah, oh, it's no good, mate. I'll have to get a new keyboard. Do you rape, bro? I mean, it's not totally broken. Some of the notes still work. Listen. Stop, please. Okay. Anything you want to tell me about? Uh, uh, never mind. Well, you know what? It's late. You can tell me tomorrow. It's time for Betty Buys, I think. <sighs> Night, Betty. Night, Barney. Oh. Love you. I love you too.